What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another tutorial. Guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys the top three video editing applications for Windows 10. Let's get started. So coming in at number one, we have Filmora or Wondershare Filmora. And this application I have used, I, by the way guys, I have used all of these applications, okay? So does any of you guys know that? Um, if you guys want to start off with video editing and you have, you know, you have a YouTube channel and you guys want to go ahead and try out some of these applications, all of these applications uh, do come with a free trial. Does any of you guys know? Um, so just FYI. So Filmora, once you first install it and you open it up, it's going to bring you a window here. Now I'm not going to get too in depth with all of these um, applications. There are other bunch of tutorials that show you guys how to use it. Uh, I'm going to click on full feature mode, but you can change the aspect ratio here. So just hop into the full feature mode, which allows you to jump into the actual application. So when you first open it, it brings up a message center allowing you to install some, you know, some packs that they come out with. So every season or holiday, they come out some, with some really cool effects, which is the awesome part of Filmora. So I'm going to get rid of this window here, okay? And we have the basic interface, okay? So this looks a lot like Premiere, and I'll get to Adobe Premiere Pro in a little bit. So we have Filmora here, and it uh, looks very easy to use, of course. So here we have the timeline. Over here we have the video. So right here is the project um, panel, pretty much, which allows you to import, you know, media files. You can go ahead and select whatever clip you want. Yeah, so we have here the South Africa in 4K. If you guys want to watch this video, a link is in the description so shout out to the creator of this uh, video so I'm only using this as a tutorial so um, yeah so here we have the option to um, edit in the action cam tool we have video and if you want to import it into the timeline you can just drag it in here all right or you can just click this plus icon and that will go ahead and add it to the timeline so if you guys want to zoom in click above the timeline and just drag in or left so drag your mouse left or right to zoom in if I want to make it full screen I can click on this little full screen button Push play, I'm pressing the space bar. And if you guys want to detach the audio from the video, all you gotta do is right click on that video track and go to audio detach, or the shortcut is control alt D, and this will allow you to um, obviously uh, detach the video from the audio. So all I'm gonna do is press control B. So I'm gonna press control B, and that will go ahead and cut the video and the audio. But if you only want to cut the video, select the clip that you want to cut and then press control B. So now you will go ahead and cut only the video. So if you want to select like this part here, so right there, I want to cut it. So press control B again, and you have now this standalone video. So now you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. You can right click, you can do, uh, you can crop and zoom. So you can go ahead and crop this video down if you want by clicking and dragging, and you can go ahead and crop the video like around here. You can also change the aspect ratio. And if you click on okay, it will apply it in the settings in this window here. So for more, because they're so nice, they actually come uh, with some pre uh, royalty free music that you guys can use in your videos, which is pretty cool. You can always add text and credits. All right, guys, so once you download one of these titles or credits, it's gonna automatically apply it to your clip. So if I push play, this will go ahead and open up. You can always adjust these values here by right clicking and going on to edit. And here you can change the text. You guys can go ahead and adjust it here if you want. You can just press Control A and you can change it so you can do like South Africa. I uh, did not spell Africa right. There you go, South Africa. And you can move this to align it to the clip here. So like that, okay, and move it down. And you can always adjust all of these other ones. Just click on okay, and this will apply it there. All right, guys, so coming in at number two is, of course, Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 or just Adobe Premiere Pro in general. So I, of course, like the newest version of Premiere Pro. Now, guys, I have used Premiere Pro in the past before I even started YouTube. So um, like I said, I'm going to try and keep this video unbiased uh, throughout these other applications. So this will allow you to create a new project, give it a name. I'm just naming this test. Just leave everything how it is. You don't really have to change anything unless you have to. Just click on OK. So you have the source over here, which is kind of like the preview window. Over here is the project panel, which allows you to, you know, um, import media. So you also have the project panel over here, which allows you to add videos, pictures, audio, stuff like that. You also have the effects tab and all the other stuff. Over here is the program window, which allows you to actually see the video, uh, you know, the real time video. And over here we have the timeline and uh, up top here you have the workspaces so if you want to work with like color let's say you can work with the color but first we're going to add some video so to add some video all you have to do is just double click in the project panel here select your video clips or whatever you have and you're going to have the clips here okay so you can't start editing without 
creating a sequence first. So you have to click and drag your video over here to, to create a sequence from that clip, or you can drag and create it here, which allows you to do the same thing. So I'm just dragging it in here because it's easier. And this is what it's gonna look like, okay? So it's pretty straightforward, not too hard to work with. Now, over here we have the source, but right now there's no clips, so we don't have anything selected. So this is like a preview before you do anything or any editing. So that will go ahead and add it to the source window here. And over here you have the option to drag the audio or you can drag the video only. So if you only want the video, you can go ahead and just drag this up here. All right guys, so once you drag the video in the timeline, you're gonna have something like this, okay? So I'm gonna scroll through the video here. And if you guys wanna scroll, just click on this little uh, scroll bar and you can click on the ends to drag or to zoom in and out. So we can do something like this. And if you wanna mute the audio, just click on this and this will mute that track. And that way you can work with your videos without having to listen to the audio. So if you wanna solo the track, you can click uh, solo. If you have multiple audio tracks, you can just listen to one. So if you guys wanna detach the video from the audio, just select it and go to unlink. And that's all you have to do. That way you can go ahead and move your video wherever you want. So over here you have the tools section and you have the selection tool, which uh, you can access by pressing V and this will obviously allow you to select whatever is in the timeline. I'm not gonna get into, into each one because that will take a long time, but I'm gonna be working with the razor tool just because you will be using that a lot. So this is the razor tool. You can access it by pressing C and you can go ahead and make cuts throughout the whole video. And if you wanna go ahead and select it, press V for the shortcut for the selection tool. And you can go ahead and delete clips like that. And if you wanna go ahead and ripple delete, select this and press delete, and that will go ahead and fill in the gap with the video on the right. So to actually add some effects to the clips, all you gotta do is if you click on this K and you go to the effects, and in the effects is where all the settings will be for Premiere Pro. So you have like Lumetri uh, presets, you have audio effects, audio transitions, video effects, and video uh, transitions. So you can do like video effects. So open that folder up in the color correction and we're gonna go with the, uh, we're gonna do brightness and contrast. So I'm gonna drag this on top of that clip, double click and go into the effects controls. And here you can adjust the effects that we've applied. So we have video effects and we have brightness and contrast. So we can go ahead and increase the brightness on that one clip or we can you know, increase the contrast or maybe we wanna decrease it. But if you guys want tutorials on Premiere Pro, just leave a like and let's head on to number three. All right guys, so coming in at number three is Sony Vegas Pro 15, which is the latest version of Sony Vegas. Now this program can look a little bit intimidating at first, I already know. The interface isn't the prettiest like Filmora or Premiere, but it still does the purpose and that is to edit. So I've of course used Sony Vegas as well in the past before I started YouTube. You wanna first create a new project. So go to a new project, create you know a template, you can do whatever you want here, click on okay. Once you create your project, you're gonna be brought here. So to actually, you know, import your video, you can go ahead and go onto this button here, which will allow you to import some media, or you can go to file and go to import and then media, but that's gonna take forever. So click on this button here and then select your video. If you wanna drag this video, just drag it into the timeline at the start here, and then it will ask you if you wanna change the project settings to match the video, click yes. And if you wanna zoom in onto the timeline, just click on either of these two on the scroll bar on the ends here and just click and drag inwards to zoom in. Same thing as Premiere. If you wanna go ahead and unlink the video from the audio, go to group and go to remove from. Now you will have the video detached from the audio or vice versa. Now if you wanna mute the track, just click this button here to mute it and now you can push play. That way you won't hear the audio in the background, which is good. Um, so if you wanna, if you have multiple audio tracks and you only wanna listen to that one, like in Premiere Pro, you can just click on this solo. Uh, which will allow you to solo the track. So you can always decrease the opacity here in the levels. There are tools in the bottom here that allow you to do that. So you have the play and pause tools, you have the normal edit tools, but you wanna go to the tool that is, I believe this one here, and that is the split tool. So press S, okay, and right as you press S and you zoom in onto the timeline here, the video will go ahead and cut wherever the uh, clip is at or the time head is at. So if you wanna add effects, all you gotta do is first zoom in onto the timeline and you wanna be able to see the crop effects and this other settings here, okay? Uh, tool, so if you click on that, you can crop the video down so you can do something like this and you can drag it up here. Maybe you wanna drag it over here where the, uh, where the town here is at. 
You can change the rotation of this, as you can see, but you'd have to zoom in a little bit more. Once you have done that, you're gonna go to the event effects, click on that button. And here you have the option to add effects or presets in Sony Vegas that it already comes with. So, so we're gonna do brightness and contrast and we're gonna click add. Don't click on okay, cause that won't add the effects to that one clip. So that will add one effect. Maybe you wanna add more. So we wanna work with, let's go with the color corrector, click on add. And now we have brightness and the color corrector. So click on okay. So we're gonna go with the brightness and contrast and you can see what it's applied. You can do color corrector as well. So maybe you wanna increase the brightness, you can increase it that way. So if you wanna add transitions, um, you all you have to do literally is just click on in between two clips and just drag them uh, forward or backward. You can do this one and drag it backwards to add a transition. It's gonna add a transition there. Now you can always adjust this here by you know adjusting this button here, and you can increase or lower the opacity within that clip, or you can do it the same thing um, over here. All right. So it can be a little bit confusing. I know uh, Sony Vegas. You do have to uh, try out this program for a while to really get used to it. Sony Vegas is very CPU intensive, the same with Premiere Pro. I don't know about Filmora. I think Filmora isn't that CPU intensive, which you should be good there. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial though. So if you guys want any tutorials within these three applications, please let me know. I'd be really curious to, to actually do a tutorial on them, like a full in-depth tutorial. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.